Hey guys, Trevor Quinton here today with, and we're back, finally back with the next episode of Dark. I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who left a like and subscribe during that video. You were all very nice and welcome into the show. Um, I will be dropping two episodes because of that today. Um, I'll be doing two and three. Hopefully you enjoy these reactions. But yeah, last episode was definitely an interesting one. We had the missing Ika who went, who's gone missing. We finally see him getting like, you find him in a room locked up and getting the device put around his head. Um, one of the kids go. The kid goes missing when they're outside the cave after some eerie noises. He disappears as well. I'm assuming the same people have taken him or something's happened to him. Curious what's going to go. What's going on in this town? Like I said, it's um, every thirty years or something. Um, this has happened like the last thirty years because the old man with like the ear ear messed up. He affected him. Something's affected him clearly, and it's, it's happening again. Whatever happened back then. We also got the letter. We didn't really get to. We only got to see the woman read it. I'm interested what's uh, actually in the, the contents of the letter. And yeah, it just seems like a lot of emphasis on time and family in the show. A lot of you point out I need to really keep track of family relationships. I will do my best. If I do miss anything, feel free to leave a comment. As long as it's not a spoiler, um, I'm fine with that. But yeah, really cool to see how like our character is going to handle the situation now with um, one of the brothers going missing. I believe it's. Sorry if I'm going to butcher all his name, but yeah, uh, I think it's Miki. He's. Um, Magnus's brother basically went missing, um, so I'm curious to see how it's going to be now, um, like how much are they going to blame him. Quite curious where he went, but yeah, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm doing Brooklyn Nine-Nine, End of the Fucking World, and this, and also a lot of anime, so yeah. Feel free to check any of that out, but let's jump into this reaction. Would you all kill me if I put the English dub on for a joke? Mate, his dad's just going to hunt his ass, <laughs> hunt his ass, isn't he? <laughs> what a random thing to find. No bunker, mate. Mikkel! Mikkel! <laughs> I thought it'd be that easy. He could walk in. Big radiation. Imagine the stress you'd be going through after losing your little brother. Mate, he's got some old shit on him. No, that is so mad. So I'm guessing mad was the same situation what happened to Miki when he disappeared. Hey, there's so much going on in this episode. Look now. We've got mysterious dead kid who's got fucking eighties technology on him, and then we've got like fucking this power plant now that's a f restricted. That's never a good thing. Yeah. This crazy hooded kid. Got German architecture. So nice. But all those houses are super expensive. Such a hopeful point of view that he knows something. Why is this man in the cave? Is that Mads, the kid who's gone missing because of the hood and the toy? Because uh, Mads went missing, like Mikael, but he went missing a lot longer ago, I'm assuming. He will be about that age, I guess. A lot going on in that room. A journey through time. Is this a time travel show? M makes sense if it is with the kid with the Walkman and stuff, if it is a time travel show. What the fuck is that? I'm guessing if this is a time travel show, then the disappearances. Maybe the cave's connected to it? I wonder how that works. I wonder how it works if it is. I'm sure the show will explain if it is. God, imagine the atmosphere around the house. She just waiting in the rain for a song. I'm 
Oh, he's not wanting to have his affair with Hannah. I guess at least he's fucking not fake because I'm having a fucking affair at the moment. Mate, you'd be so fucking frustrated. It'd be devastating. Fucking hell, careful, you know, pause, mate. Fucking hell. Why would you be alone in this house? It's fucking terrifying. Oh, mate, the secret little area. Fucking love the music fits the eeriness of this show so much. What are they doing? Mate. So these guys are experimenting with try force trying for time travel then. Clearly quite far. Okay, so this is definitely time travel show then. I'm interested to see. Time travel is always a mix for me. If it's done well, I fucking love it. Or if it's not done well, it's a bit of a disappointment. And the last good time travel thing I've seen was Steins Gate. I love that. So if this can nail it and use it right, I'd be quite happy with that. I normally I prefer shows where it just focuses around time travel because then it makes they can have the rules and everything. Fucking hell, my man had a stash, didn't he? The guy in um, is it Eco Eco. Equid, Equid, I think it was. God damn it, getting these names nailed is going to be a pain. Well, that's going to be important later, clearly. I was going to say, man's just lost his son. Give him some breathing room, woman. Wait, man's just breaking in. Where's your search warrant, bro? Oh, that's, that's such a sad time. It's that. He's gonna shoot at him, he's gonna aim for you. So. Mate, would he actually lock someone down there? That'd be horrible. Intensity. I want to see what's in there, though. What's in the bag? It's our head. That's that's fine. I want to see what's in it, though. That's that's fine, have ich gesagt. Erik hat auf beim Mofa gespart. He's never gonna get his scooter though. If we don't find him. Dead shit. Fuck. So yeah, it does the same thing. His eyes will try to force him through time or some shit or whatever they're doing. I assume that's him anyway. I look forward to where this show can go. It's, got, it's throwing about some incorrect concepts. A lot going on. I say the longer the show goes on, the more use I'm going to get to having such a big cast. What the fuck is going on, mate? Ooh, the music. Why are all the birds dying? Someone going on like a magnetic field or some shit. Fuck. Hey. When? Ooh. Oh, it's so dark. Who is it? Oh, it's the kid. Think. Wet jacket. Mate, <laughs> he looks fucked. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it must be time traveling because there's no chairs or anything on the outside. 
a lot more nature around it. Oh, I'm interested then that if it's got tide travel, I think it can go either way. If it's really, I hope hopefully it's one of those type. If everyone's saying how good it is, that it's going to be one of the good tribe travel shows and not a bad one. What would you do if you just flung back in time? I love having the cars are different. Oh, I bet there's so many cool little details in this show if they're doing time travel. So I wonder how it works. Is he like, would he if he got older, will he be in the future, or is it just a separate timeline? I wonder what the rules are for the time travel. Is that the parents younger? Chef from Capito wants this here. Katarina. Ooh, nineteen eighty six. Boy. It's when that all the equipment the other kid was wearing has. You have time travel, boy. Look forward to what they're gonna do with it. Like I said, the thing is with time travel, what I always find is I can go 50-50, but I think like this is gonna do a good job of it. So that links up a lot more stuff together. It feels like so the time traveling things happened for three generations, I think, as I mentioned. So this one, the last one, where where like the parents are, and then the grandparents, I think, have had it, because the guy with the hair he had the ear sealed up. And it feels like the power plants for trying to force people through the time travel because they had that back hole video in the background and they had the noise and stuff. I'm curious what they're trying to do there. Are they trying to force them through? Um, yeah, so yeah, he's got he's that back. I'm guessing is the kid is it Mad? What's his name? Uh, is Mads? Uh, was he the kid found in the woods? He time traveled and he somehow returned back dead, or is he another kid completely, completely that we don't know about? I'm 100% sure there. Um, yeah, it seems like the older generation definitely going to play a, a role in this show, which they know a lot more, but they're not sharing yet. I'm curious what stories they've got to tell and see how it all links together. Um, we've also, yeah, it's a lot more interesting now. I know it's a time travel show because you really do with time travel shows, you really have to pay attention. Like I said, I want to learn the rules of the time travel show. Like, how does how does it work? Is it um, yeah? How does it work? Is it like is it, are they in different timelines so it doesn't affect the current one? I'm curious if they're going to explain the rules of it. I'm sure they're probably going to do it through like that TV, like the sort of they did with the black holes. They're sort of using black holes by the looks of it as their way, and the caves connected in some way. But yeah, I really look forward to what they're going to do with the show, guys. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you do, I hope to see you in the next one, which I should be doing today. It might be a bit later than this one, but yeah, peace.